Hey, how we doing? Coach Chris here from Halliday Tennis. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm gonna go over what I'm personally working on my own uh, one-handed backhand, and what I think are, are the three most important uh, uh, aspects that you know every tennis player should know. So uh, pay attention, and uh, and hopefully you learn something. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe. It's the best way to uh, to grow this channel, so I can keep coming up with some uh, awesome tennis content. All right, let's do this. All right, so nice uh, some backhands coming at you. Um, what I'm focusing on. Um, Keeping that left elbow up and around, creating that really nice loop, big loop. Um, I'm also focusing on keeping my head on the contact point, contact zone, I guess, if you will. And then the third one is this uh, left hand, this non-dominant hand, is staying back, right? I'm really feeling a nice stretch in my chest, feeling like my shoulder blades are coming together again. Like right now, visualizing what like Dimitrov or Shap Shapovalov how they're finishing is is what I have in my mind right now. So let's hit some backhands, see how it goes. So, you know, I'm kind of worried about where the ball is going. Like I wanna for sure succeed in that sense. But I'm also thinking about what I'm trying to improve upon. So there's always a balance between perfect technique and, uh, and getting the ball in the court. So you want to kind of always, always improve, always try to get a little bit better. Um, but at the same time, hitting a ball that's you know, it's got a decent chance of getting into the court because there's no sense in just, you know, wildly swinging without a purpose. So if, if your purpose is to improve something technical, technically, then focus on that. And you know what, it's a, it's a relatively long learning process. I mean, I'm never, I'm never gonna stop learning. <sighs> um, and again, situationally, we're in the winter right now. Even though I'm, I'm still able to coach, I'm not playing or coaching as much as I would be in the summer. So those kind of guaranteed reps, that would definitely help with any situation. I don't really have that right now. So I'm not really worried about like playing competitions and, and stuff like that. I'm worried about setting up my my game so it's rock solid um, come springtime. Spring and summertime. Good get, Jules. Oh my gosh, good rally. All right, here we go. Different angle for the backhands. Same uh, three concepts. Um, high elbow, looking at that contact zone extending the arm back with the, the left. So that's three things for me to think about. Um, probably wouldn't want to add anything more than that. Often the times uh, when I'm working with players, I try to add most and, and like a whole lesson, give them three things, but often, you know, I want to keep things as, as simple as, uh, as I can. And it's, it's pretty hard for the, for the brain to multitask, so. You want to incrementally pick those focus points. That stretch feels really nice. You kind of visualize that as a stretch, more as a stroke. Um, just because you you look at the top one-handers in the world and they're so, they look so loose and effortless and they're using full range of motions, right? So a lot of the times at the club level, I see half range of motion, you know, you're stopping as much as you can. You want to hit through the ball, you want to use like as much, much of your body efficiently as possible.
Oh my. Good ball. <laughs>